everyone, Ziggler here, Pork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So today I want to discuss a, like, it's not a, like, <laughs> optimal way to farming gold, but it's just an alternative way, really. Um, and you can do this during the um, Midsummer, Midsummer Festival. And basically what you do is just flying around and you're just... Uh, uh, speaking to all the flame wardens and the uh, like these ones for example in all the different zones so for example I'm working my way towards uh, I started down in booty bay and then I worked myself upwards and uh, yeah I'm just doing that and so that's the like one the alliance one if you're horde you're gonna do the opposite but I'm gonna go over now to the horde one and just extinguish their fire. I think it's over here, right? It it should be. No, okay, wait, no, it's not. It's over here. So, but like basically, what basically what you do is just fly around in the zones and just light the fires or just speak to the like your your faction's character really and. Then go to the horde version and exting extinguish their fire, and yeah, uh, the alliance one. When you speak to well, your current faction one, you're getting uh, what is it? Uh, 20, 25, 25 and a half gold. It's not much, but it's something. And uh, you you have a total of so let's see here from the extinguishing one. You're getting 51 of the uh, 51 gold, and so basically, in some zones, you're getting uh, like 25 gold, and some zones, when you have both of them, you're getting 75 gold. And I've done a calculation just so you don't, just so you s can see how much you're gonna get, and it's not much, I know, but like I said, it's an alternative way. And if you're really enjoying this. If you would do it on like four four characters, you technically have a token at token at the moment because on my server, for example, they cost twelve thousand. So technically, you, you would have a token. But the way I do it is just to keep track of it a little bit easier. Is that I use TomTom. Tom. I can put the link down in the description below uh, to the add-on TomTom. Tom. But what you can do with it is just click on the map anywhere. And if you control click, wait, no, shift click. Yeah, if you click, shift click, where is it? Wait, isn't it? Hmm. Wait, isn't it? Okay, yeah. If you shift click on the actual like questy one and you press it, you will get the arrow and then you will see how long it's going to take you to fly there and like what direction it is. And then you just do that. So it's super simple. And another way that you can do it is that if you have questy and they put the tracker on, if you press on the questy one, you will get open this one up. And if you go on the tracker, you can increase the the size of this just by like doing this for example like increasing this one and then you can shift click yeah yeah control click and you can move it around just to have it over here and just by doing that you can see what which zones you have left and stuff like that which makes it super simple really uh, let's see we're gonna go to searing gorge i think do we have one there we should one have one there do we? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, so which one is next one? I think it's Lock Modan. Yeah. And we got it over here. So we shift click again. And you will see how long it's going to take us to fly there. So if it's a long, you you know, like you can just, okay, it's around 40, min 40 seconds. You can just look at the other screen or something. Just do something else. So this is like... If I'm going to do this, I would watch like a TV show or like something on Netflix or something like that or any podcast really or something like that. And yeah, it's 
just super, super simple. And I recommend that you have the renowned guild tabard on if you need to increase your reputation with your with your guild because you're getting uh, you're getting a reputation with your fa uh, with your. <laughs> I keep saying faction. <laughs> you keep getting exp uh, reputation with your guild that you're part of, and just by increasing it, you will be able to unlock some perks that you need to have a higher one for example like if you have it exalted you can buy in the reigns of the golden the golden king and yeah it's not nothing like ooh this is game breaking ooh there's so much gold like no it's not that much gold i mean it's only 3k but if you're gonna do it just to have the like title you need to do it anyway and if like if you want to you could do like a why don't go for Ex explorer the explorer title i mean you're in the zones so if you want the explorer's tabard the tabard of explorer you can do it at simultaneously but yeah i already have it so like these zones so who knows i might do the the like northren and the cataclysm one and then i have it so I'm almost done with that. So, yeah, I could do that as a combo with this. And I'm not particularly sure. Uh, let me look at this. I should have I should have looked this up before. <laughs> uh, what is it? Is it the collection, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Oh well, I'm not particularly sure if you can actually like, wait, if you can spend the burning blossom on something, I think that you can because I'm pretty sure that you need to put, to buy like some shoulders and stuff like that for a shemans. Maybe I should look that up while I actually am here. Let me just speak to this one. And there we go, we're down in this zone. So let's fly into, I, I need to go here anyway, just for the, like another um, quest. So here we got the mid, uh, and also I might just as well put it out there. If you're planning to level like an alt or something and you already started on it, but you don't want to do it right now, make sure to go to any of these places and just click the poll just so you can, uh, get the experience buff which is the um let me just put it on so it's this one the ribbon pole it's called and click on it and you will start getting the ribbon dance experience gained from killing monsters increased by 10 percent so this is a one that i will use on my warrior that i'm gonna level so it's a uh, it already hit level 15 and i got like full heirloom i got extra health on chest i got crusader on my weapon and yeah it's decked out and i'm ready to go and let's see here i think there should be like something right there should be a vendor hmm Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, here you go. Here you can spend all the the ones on them. And I'm pretty sure that there should be like a... Unless I'm very much mistaken. Yeah, here we go. You can actually farm it just to buy some captured flame. Which you can put on the auction house and sell for like 500 gold at the moment. So, if you do this on multiple characters and do the dailies... Just so you get the blossom, the burning blossom, you can buy the captured flame and post them later. Just wait for the event to be over because people are gonna buy them. And if there's nothing on the auction house, the you can put the price even higher because not many people are gonna have it on the auction house. And like, why not? And then you have the toy, the blazing. I, I think there is like. 
you will turn yourself into like a dancing draenei or something like that and then you have the yeah just some cool effects on these and also if you're leveling a an alt you you really need to do these dailies because you're first of all before you do them start getting the ribbon dance buff just for the okay well that no no never mind that's just for the monsters and killing monsters but do the dailies because they give quite a lot of experience and if you're gonna do the dungeons unless you're farm uh, saving up for any of these items buy these ones because they they are they're not that bad i mean 20 dodge 30 haste for one hour i mean for five you're getting five so i think that from one daily you get like 10 so you get buy, buy like one stack of these one stack of these and then you have the spell power which is insane and uh I am not sure if this one actually let me try what see what happens if it is okay nothing happened I was I, I was wondering if it was like a an AOE or something but it wasn't but yeah that's basically what you do I'm gonna continue and I'm actually gonna do all of them just for the goal extra gold and the reputation and everything really it's just some free gold and I'm missing just a little bit to buy one more token so why not and yeah I'm most likely gonna save up for one at least one pet but like I said it's just super simple to do there's nothing like insane about it I'd say uh where is it is it here yeah there it is so now for example well okay if you're if you're drunk like this I, i'm pretty sure that you can log out and log in and you can just continue and yeah with that i'm just gonna end the end the video I'm, i think i got like pretty much everything so keep in mind this is not like an insane way of gold like making gold or anything but you're getting reputation with your guild you're getting a little bit of gold. You're getting a little bit of... Uh, you're getting the flaming blossom that you can buy some pet and other stuff from the vendor with. Just for some... And all the other food buff that you can use in raids and everything. So, why not? Just, like, why not do that? Am I still drunk? What happened if I reload? But yeah, it's uh, just a fun way to make gold and yeah, you can do this while watching. If you have two screens, which I have, I'm going to keep doing this and watch some some show on Netflix or anything. But yeah, with that, I'm going to end the video. Uh, if you felt like this is helping you and you felt like this is, well, helping you, like I said, please consider subscribing and like this video and Click this video uh, for, yeah, whatever videos I'm going to put out there. And I'll greet you over there with a bork bork. And I'll see you over there.